Welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. Join host Dan Melnick and Kasim Masood as they explore big ideas, limitless possibilities, and engage with visionaries, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders who dare to dream big, get inspired, motivated, and find practical tips for personal growth. Think big, dream bigger, and ignite your potential. Welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. If you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us where you live and what you do for a living. Thanks, Dan. I'm Mac Villarreal. I am a founder and CEO of I My Greens. I live in San Diego. And uh, yeah, I started uh, I My Greens, a fresh refrigerated soup company uh, about four years ago. Awesome. So like, what inspired you to start this business? Yes, um, it goes way back. Right after college, I worked at Grupo Modelo, Corona Beer, just really um, admired what they did around the world as far as branding and positioning a product. So I wanted to learn. It was my appetite and my curiosity of learning. And I jumped in there, learned a lot. Great, great experience. And then the entrepreneur bug bit me. And I actually read a book called Art of the Start by Guy Kawasaki back in the day, which really turned my head into entrepreneurship and, and taught me a lot of things that I didn't know even existed in the world. And I uh, decided uh, slowly but surely to start a company. And I started a juice company, a fresh juice company that was back in Mexico. And that was a great ride, great roller coaster ride. I, I call the entrepreneurship journey a, a roller coaster ride. I enjoy the highs a lot. And uh, the lows are the lows and you have to go through them, but always the highs are better than the lows and that just keeps me going. And I guess I like adventure. So uh, it's an adventurous journey. And then um, some other moved to the US and decided to go back into CPG. Well, I had a chance to, to exit that the juice business and then uh, decided to start a new one. And I, my greens came about and, and after years of thinking of what sounded, what was the right decision and CPG again, starting a new company was, was what called, really called me. And uh, yeah, it's been also an, a roller coaster journey, but same thing. I am also enjoying it. Awesome. So just talk about uh, more about I eat my greens. So how does it work? Like, what is it exactly? And like, who is an ideal customer? Who's typically um, using your product? Mm hmm. So I My Greens is, the origin is, came, um, and it has to do, who is it for? It's people that want to eat healthy, but many times when you say, oh yeah, I want to eat healthy, you immediately think of food that's not as tasty as indulgent, not healthy food, right? Because that's normally what happens. But I wanted to make a product that it's good for you and it tastes great. Uh, it has to taste great. Otherwise, when I mean, you might eat it once every few often, uh, not often, so that's not good. So um, the combination of understanding the importance of eating healthy, how nutrition plays a big part of our lives. I was also a Olympic athlete in the sport of sailing. So that's where I learned a lot about how being healthy is so good for you in your life in general. So the combination of understanding that with the fast paced lives that we all live and maybe more and more every day made me focus my uh, my journey into creating this product which is a soup that you just serve and heat and you're eating a lot of vegetables in 90 seconds right there's not there's not a lot of there's no cooking needed nothing of course if you want to take it to the next level you can add different protein or toppings or, or what have you whatever you have a, a on hand or if you if you like to cook then get creative with it but so it's very versatile in in what it can uh, provide to people anybody that's interested in in eating a little healthier but in an easy way in, a, in an easy way that tastes good is a consumer so yeah we've been happy to you know kids moms seniors uh you name it not working professionals if they want to eat a little healthier and especially more vegetables, which is one of the greatest foods that exists because of all the nutritional benefits they have. I my greens is uh, what we want them to think of the perfect solution for that. So are most of your customers consuming I eat my greens every day or like what is, I guess, a customer? I mean, obviously anybody can be a customer, but is it mostly like, you know, athletes that eat it every day or just people that just need to have their greens and they have it daily or once a week? It's like, what is... I guess that's what it would look like. I mean, the, the recommendation is to have a certain 
portion of vegetables every day. I mean, that's what we should all do. We know it. Everybody knows that we should all eat vegetables every day, but only, I mean, 90% of people don't uh, in the US. So that's a lot of people. That's 90, like pretty much everybody. Yeah. I mean, if you eat vegetables every day, you're going to feel better. It just, it's just good for you as far as the medium term, long term, even better. So yeah, people eat it every day, maybe you know, two, three times a, a week, but it's a food that you can eat every day without any drawbacks, any side effects, of course, we're talking about vegetables. So depending on people's daily routine, they eat it every day or many times a week. Awesome. So where do people typically buy your product? Are you more focused on direct to consumer, Amazon, retail, food service? What are the biggest channels for your business? Our biggest one is retail. Being a fresh product, it's challenging, but we've done it and we we have the formula one to ship online we do have d2c uh, on direct to consumer sales um with eight packs and 12 packs and it's pretty easy in our website and also uh, you know subscription service um, but our biggest channel has been retail places like sprouts nationwide uh, wegmans and the east coast uh, other natural and independent stores so we have uh, the store locator in our website you know it's just the grab and go section of the stores where people are looking for something that's fast, like I said, convenience, but that tastes good. Uh, that's why they grab I my greens and um, really enjoy it. And we've been lucky to have, you know, very loyal customers that have been with us since the back since the farmer's market days. Because before launching, I did farmer's market to get the feedback, uh, all the consumer feedback, tweak the recipes, make sure our product was loved and, and um, really uh, appreciated. And yeah, it was so good that that's what kept me going, that, that those interactions with, with loyal fans and yeah, so we're, we're more and more into, into getting into more and more stores and that just, uh, that's awesome. That's yeah, that's cool. So obviously I'm always curious because I live in Austin, Texas. So are you by chance, any Texas retailers, Central Market, HEB or anywhere here in Austin, do you have a fan? We are in, in uh, conversations with them. So, you know, I'll be the first one to tell you then uh, when we're there. Uh, mm-hmm. Hope you have a Sprouts close, but but yeah, HEV and Central Market is, is it's definitely in our list. And uh, but, you know, I can also make an announcement here. Uh, we're going to be in HEV Mexico, actually. So oh, awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, we're starting there, too. So that's it's the product is working. Um, we're happy with with the results and and it's just uh, and the entrepreneurial journey takes time you have to be patient but persistent so yeah it's a matter of time and, uh, until we are reaching more and more people which is very uh motivating for me hey y'all it's dan melnick the ceo of zing and i wanted to share a special offer for all of our listeners right now if you need software development services we'll give you two weeks of a free trial you need to update your website. You want to build a mobile app. Do you want to update something that you've been working on for a long time? We've worked in a high-level technology like AI, machine learning, blockchain. So shoot me a text, 817-874-2208. Thank you. Is the price point in a good place? Because obviously, like, you know, Mexico versus U.S. with consumers, like, what does that look like in terms of price point for you when you're selling international? No, we, we do have a good price point. We've been efficient in the supply chain and, you know, on the freight side of things as well. I'm still working. There's always room for improvement, but um, it's also something that I really enjoy as a CPG founder. I think you have to enjoy logistics. You have to have it. It's a... Heard it from other founders. It's it's a marketing company, a logistics company, a branding company, a sales company, all in one. Right. And you have to be good at it and you have to like it all. I mean, the founder doesn't end up doing all of the work, of course, at the beginning, yes. But at the, you have to understand it and, and like it all. Otherwise, uh, in my opinion, if one of those, uh, there's more. I didn't say all of them, but uh, if one of them is not you know, uh, strong and efficient, then the whole thing is not as good that makes total sense and when you're growing in these retail channels like how do you get trial do you do a lot of in-store sampling you do couponing how do you actually get somebody to go and try our product yeah yeah yeah. it's a combination of everything whenever you can samples is the best but it's the most expensive one coupons price reductions on shelf there's many leverages that we can pull and and it's a trial and error test you know put on my scientific coat and uh do experiments 
uh, and see what works. Try to make them small so if they don't work, they don't cost a lot of money. But uh, it's trial and error. Depending, it's very dependent on the product, of course. Like, there's a lot of variables, but uh, it's I think my my take is try a lot of things in a small scale way and see what works. So okay, so let's just get back to D to C Amazon. Like I know you mentioned that could be like a bit tricky. So is it a channel that you're currently pursuing? Are you active on these channels? And um, yeah, I guess like what does that look like for you? D to C, um, it's been growing organically. We as a small company, it's hard. We we need to focus. So, you know, if we start losing our focus on retail, then then it will hurt us. Um, right. But D2C is something that's always I'm curious about. I'm interested. Uh, we tried a little bit of things, but we're, we're being patient as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, people love to have the convenience of their soup being delivered to their for, uh, door and choosing their own flavors. And people that don't have a store close by, we've sent soups to very remote areas which is very fun as well to know that our soups are going to very remote places which is great because people don't have access to, right. to healthy convenience food and and that's what we offer so that also like it's very motivating as well but we'll grow we'll grow in d to c i know it's gotten more expensive right as as the uh, ios updates and, and and meta and all that uh, i'm not an expert there but uh right right but uh it's definitely something that our product uh, resonates with people and it's something we're looking into. What about Amazon? We haven't uh, gone that route yet. Uh, the perishable part is still something that we would need to figure out. That would that would make sense through Amazon. So that's just where we are right now. For sure. So obviously uh, nowadays many companies are using high level technologies like artificial intelligence. So if that's something that you're currently uh, leveraging, and if so. Um, how are you using it? And if not, like where could you maybe use AI in your business? No, we're not. I would think that's a lot more into the D2C world. Definitely interested in in checking that out. And and I mean, I use some AI tools, but not we don't not like big ones or, or important ones for our business. I see how much it's growing and the power it has. But at the same time, I don't love when customer service is all AI. Right. Uh, as a consumer, when I base AI tools, a chat box, it doesn't answer my all, all my questions. Uh, many times I do need to speak to a human and, and I really value that. So, you know, my I still value a lot of the human interaction. It's not all the time. I know it's not possible for companies to have to be able to to, to have the budget for that or, or cost prohibitive. But Right. You do wish that there's sometimes it's you just need to talk to a human. <laughs> exactly. So what would you say is like the one biggest piece of advice that you wish you knew before you started this business? I think um sometimes it's actually I thought I was good at it, but I need to ask more questions. You know, don't be afraid to ask more questions. I mean, do your research, but then formulate the questions and ask questions. I, I do think there are more intelligent questions than other. It depends on if you did your research and you spend some time thinking about the questions, not just because that uh, asking the, the smart questions gives you back great information that then makes a big difference. Uh, sometimes I was shy to ask the questions or I didn't. It was at the moment where I needed to ask the questions and I didn't and I regretted right. that. Uh, so I, I was been more in the, of an introvert. So right. that is something that extroverts have uh, an advantage in and i think that's something that i need to work on and and, and i'm still working on it <laughs> yeah for sure so if we're going to have this conversation again in one year from now where do you see things going for ie migrants yeah a lot more reach in more you know geographically more states like we are not in the midwest yet so hopefully we will be at midwest with the right right partners right right retail accounts uh d to c to grow new products new new flavors and yeah that would be the i mean growing the team and having more resources to another part that I haven't mentioned that's very important uh, to me and to I, my greens is the um, how we improve lives of people, right? From the farmers to the people that are in the production line making the soups with more resources. You know, it's it's about making people's lives better through food and uh, through education. So, you know, we have a program of having a nutritionist one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversations and uh, with everybody in the production line because it's not easy to eat healthy it's just so easy to eat fast food that's not healthy for you so it's a matter of changing those habits that we really want to 
uh, make a, a, a positive impact in everybody that I my greens uh, touches. That's amazing. So if somebody watching this wanted to reach out to you, do you mind sharing your website or social media? I guess best ways to get in contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. iitmygreens.com. There's a link there to our socials. Uh, I mean, Instagram is iit.mygreens. Uh, LinkedIn, the, the, the email that we get is hello at iitmygreens.com. So yeah, please get in touch if there's any questions, any any supermarkets, grocery stores that you want us to be in, please, that that really motivates us to, to uh, work on that. And yeah, any ideas, any suggestions, please let us know. Awesome, well, Mac. Thank you so much for your time today. That's been a pleasure. Thank you, Dan. Thanks. All right, bye. Bye-bye.